I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I'm really just here about the job. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. I'll leave you to Edward. He'll be your immediate supervisor. But remember, I'd love to chat more about this when matters are not so pressing. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Are we good here? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine, but never got back here. Could be simple bad luck, or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Anything else? Nothing else. Okay. 
They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. Ah, hello. Excuse me. Ah, you're back. Do you need something? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> He only made a single expedition to the Lost City, but he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations, but with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking, and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for, a lost city buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian desert. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Are we done? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Wow. Your father must be pretty old then. Well, yes. He is. Most people don't really grasp how long ago the war really was. It is an unusual situation, but... Well, it's a private family matter. That's no concern of yours. Any more questions? What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Any more questions? I've got to get going. All right.
This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. You promised you'd share! Huh? You promised you'd share. How do I get stuck with whiny little punks like you? Move. Shit. Don't make me pull the trigger. Don't shoot me. We can do this the easy way. What do you want from me? No funny business. I, I heard you. Let's just stay calm. We can do this the easy way? I, I heard you. Let's just stay calm.
Acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... sister is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I can't believe you don't care what happened so to So did your you sister. find out what happened to the courier? She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. Mother, will you let it go, please? Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. 
I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. And you don't even care. We've been over this, Mother. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. Mother, will you let it go, please? Emma Jean is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in... Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Emma Jean. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone. But I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Hi. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene. Toss out the troublemakers. We keep that in mind. Like an earthquake. 
pay. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. You ever been to kill or be killed? Fine, look at my weapons. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. Cause baby, it's just you. You leave me breathless, weak in the knee. I'm feeling reckless, hard to me, please. The fallout's blowing through. But baby, it's just you. Track or a car deck, missing a jack. What's the queen of hearts hey. to do? Cause baby, it's just you. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. Like shit. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hmm? Now what's the matter, Handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. It must oh, have been crazy well, thank you. A girl tries her best. The <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm, well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Excuse me, miss. Hello again. Something I can do for you? Nothing. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Okay.
Hey. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drugs. I hope you decide to change your life today. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were? I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Maybe 500 caps will help make her available? Well, that's different. The truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. For 500 caps, I'm happy to make her your problem. Here, let me unlock the door for you. Uh, I've got to warn you, she's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. She's all yours, neighbor. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? These cultists seem to be holding you prisoner. Well, Thomas certainly thinks so. But really, I was just waiting to see if he would come to his senses. He seemed so interesting at first. But since we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Hi. I'll never hear the end of this for Mother. We don't have anything to talk about. We're always looking for new members.
Ahem. We don't have anything to talk about. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. You should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. Hello, neighbor. is maddening. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Switching now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... If they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other... side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with.
Where do you get this serum from? As you probably guessed, my father is the source of the serum. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Hold on, weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be free from Parsons. My <coughs>
It's the artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. I'm well aware of the apparent conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I had the chance, I would gladly give it all up to have my father back, even for a short time. 